Welcome to the introduction of Kongskill Industries Multi-Air Control and HMI panel. Now push the gear button, enter the username and password. OK, choose the gear once more, then use the wizard. Now you can see that you have the possibility to choose one, two, three, that is uh, different set points. Now when you have two set points or three set points, then the control is local. And now we are unselecting the uh, option two and three. Then you have the, uh, the digital input on top, and then you have the analog input in the bottom. Now we have chosen the analog input. The analog input is controlled by 4 to 20 milliampers or 0 to 10 volts. If you select the top button, then you have local control or you have a digital input output. Now selecting that you want two set points, then you have, as mentioned, local control of the blower, which we now choose. Then we can choose the setting to be fixed as either blower speed which is in RPMs, or percentage, then you have the pressure, in KPA, millimeter wa inches water gauge and percentage, then you have the air volume, cubic per hour or cubic feet per minute, and then finally you have the airspeed. The airspeed, we need to know the dimension of the pipe diameter. In this case, it's standard set to 350 millimeters, but you can choose differently depending on your own measurements. All inputs could be in SI system or imperial. That means meters per second or feet per minute, for instance. And it can be chosen also as shown in percentage. That means that if you have a setting showing in percentage, now you can see we unselect the percentage and we have now 60 meters per second. If we then choose the percentage button, then you can choose among 0 to 100 percentage. And by 100 percentage, it means 60 meters per second. But you can change it into 50, as here. Now 100 percentage is equal to 50 meters per second in the pipe with a diameter 350 millimeters. We would like to run it with a blower speed in this sample. As standard, the blower is delivered with a setting of 3,600 rounds per minute, which in fact is also the maximum uh, blower speed. By pushing the return, you're coming into the next step where you can select the starting uh, sequence. Do you want to start the blower first, or first uh, a motor, or a second motor? And just by pushing, you will turn on and off whatever you would like to start. And here you have a starting sequence, so that means when you push the start button at zero seconds, you will either start a motor or a blower. Then 10 seconds later, you will start a new motor, and further 10 seconds, that means 20 seconds, then you will start a blower or a motor. In this case, we will, when we push the start button, start the blower, then 10 seconds later, we will start motor number one, external. And further 10 seconds later, in total 20 seconds after the starting sequence, we will start the second external motor. By pushing the return, you now are ready to, to make the stop sequence. And you can select when you push the zero or the stop button, then at zero seconds, what should run and what should stop. Right now we are selecting that the blower should stop and we should have motors running. But we would like that you can see here by selecting the blower at the end, then suddenly the two first steps would be then unselected and then the blower would still run. So now we have a sequence that at when we're pushing the stop, the second motor stop. 10 seconds later, this first motor is stopped, and 10 seconds further, 
also the blower is stopped. But we can change this sequence in seconds. Now we change it into 15 seconds, so that means 15 seconds later than the stop button is pushed, we will have stopped both motors. But then 5 seconds later, that means 15 plus 5 gives 20, then the blower is also stopped. Pushing the return, you should go to the next step, and now you will see what is possible to control by the user. Should he use the HMI or the digital input-output? Should he have the possibility to use the start-stop button? Should he also have the possibility to, to adjust the settings as set point? So we have different options. Now it's not possible to, to set the set point and it's not possible for him locally to start-stop the blower. Now it's possible to start stop the blower locally, and it's also possible to adjust the set point lock locally. Now this setup is done, and completely. You can choose languages, English, German, French, Danish. Now we select English, and then we go into the set points. Now we can see we have chosen two set points, and the first set point, which is green, has a RPM with 15, 12 RPMs. And the blower is not running, that is why the icon is red. If we then push the bottoms uh, up and down, then we can change the set point. Now we have changed it for, from 15.12 to 18.18. And the second uh, set point is then 21.00, and then we change it now with the arrow up to 24.66 rounds per minute. And the first set point is now 18.18 .18 rounds per minute. Now the bar in the middle will show you with a green bar or red bar what is possible and what is not possible. Right now it's white because the blower is not running, but as soon as we push the start button, the, the bar in the middle will then be green. Then the 0, 0.0 to the right of the bar will then show when we have started the blower that it would work towards the 1818 rounds per minute. And the same with the second set point. So we will start the blower to see what's happening. Now we have started the blower. It takes a little time. It's, it has a ramp time. So now you can see that the RPMs of the blower is turning up. And the bar in the middle is to completely green, that means in the full area we could run the blower. And now you can see the screen is jumping a little bit due to that the camera is touching the fan casing, but there's a minor vibration. Now the second set point is done and pushed, and we are now moving towards the 2466, and we have, as you can see to the right, uh, RPM of the blower of 2465 rounds per minute. Pushing the first set point, now the bl blower turns down in RPM towards the 1818 18 RPMs. Now we have pushed the stop button. And if you remember, the stop sequence is then 15 seconds, then we will stop the first motor, and 10 further 5 seconds. We will stop the second motor and the blower. So now the stop sequence takes some time before we will see the bar in the middle will turn down the RPMs. And when this is done, the small introduction of how to use the control panel is done. Now you can see the speed of the blower is turning down to zero and the arrow on the right is going down from 1818 towards zero, slowly decreasing. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day.